To import the mapping data, it's a similar process to before. Go to the Insert tab at the top and Import Files. In here, I'm going to change the name to Import Mapping Data. And for my connections, choose Trimble Connect again. And it should open into the same project I was in previously. Now I can press Mapping Data, select the file I want, and press Open. I know it's the same coordinate reference system, so I'm going to select the top option and assume that it's the same as the model. I'm going to leave all my reader settings as default and press OK. Now we can see it's bringing in about 35,500 uh, DWG entities. These might be a mixture of solid surfaces, curves, points, and annotations. In our case, all we need is the curves as we're going to be creating a center line from that existing information. Now I can see it's in my temporary model. And I'll go to select rules. I will copy my existing default rule and change the name to curves only and press save. Now my conversion rule editor will pop up and I can turn off everything that isn't a curve. Press OK. Now with my rule selected, press select and OK. And now I can press finish. This will convert the information that's in that temporary model into the proper Nova Point model with all those line features that I want. And we can see that some items couldn't be converted. That will be because there would have been some points in there perhaps that we decided we didn't want to bring in. So now I'm going to press continue and finish the import. Perfect. Now, if I go to my 800 presentations tab, I'll click presentations at the top. I'll select plan and I'll just give it the name of plan mapping data. Select my source features. If I go to tasks and I'll select everything that's been imported on my import mapping data task, press close. The presentation rule I'm going to change to draw all. So if I scroll down to the bottom here, I can see draw all. Now press finish. Now if I double click that, we can see that it opens up just fine. If I turn off and on our lines, we can see that we've got everything now. So the area of interest is this roundabout here. And what we're going to do is create two alignments going across the main areas. And then we're going to use the intersection tool in Nova Point to create a parametric roundabout. And then creating road tasks for one of the areas and also all the side areas for a roundabout, including all of the fill, all the potential cut.